hello hi good evening today i'm going to show you how to work with the schedule in revit there is two type of schedule one is schedule quantity another one is schedule by material i'm going to show you how it works let's create a new project okay this is my new project so i'm going to create a wall type okay so i'm going to create a wall type let's create a new wall type I'm going to edit structure so this wall will have two layer for our understanding I'm going to make it as uh, two layer okay let's insert another layer it's going to be 100 mm and 100 again or uh, we can say it is 100 that's fine okay and i'm going to give another material let's say it is a stone or concrete masonry let's say it is concrete masonry material concrete masonry and brick common material we just have a different material so that we'll understand how it works okay so now i'm going to say okay okay now i'm going to draw a wall i'm going to draw a wall which is just thousand mm in length and thousand mm in height okay let me take a section okay this is our section okay we have two layer in the wall i'm going to view schedule schedule quantities and i'm going to take wall schedule i'm selecting wall category and the schedule name is wall schedule and i'm going to schedule the building components faces new construction and i'm going to say okay now i can select all the parameter but i'm going to select only the type type and uh, length length height we don't have height but we will have a base offset top offset and we can take volume and width we can take volume and width okay so we have length width and volume so this base offset also not required but let's have it for now and uh, we can say let's say uh, let's add a count also and i'm going to say okay now you can see there is only one entry is here wall type is wall 200 mm length is 1000 
base offset is 0 0 okay see so this will not show us the height let's delete this parameter and the volume is 0 0.2 meter square and width is 200 mm one count okay now i'm going to take material schedule i'm going to view schedule material takeoff let's take material takeoff same like um, schedule quantities i'm going to select wall category and the name going to be wall material takeoff face new construction so i'm going to say okay now here i can select type and uh, volume width length length also i can select type length volume width and i can also go for count but here i can go for material name so i have to select a material parameter otherwise i will get a warning message here you can see a material takeoff must include at least one material so in material parameter i need to select either area or as paint or something i have to select i'm going to select material name and material volume and i'm going to say okay now let us see the difference okay okay so here this is good okay so this is plan and this is the section So this is the plan section and then we have material we have material takeoff schedule and uh, wall schedule okay this is just a single single wall thousand mm in length and thousand mm in height now you see in the wall schedule we have only one entry because this schedule will calculate quantity that means number of quantity it will calculate so how many wall we have we have only one wall that is why we got only one entry okay and we got the total length total volume and total width and we don't have anything like material name and material volume in this a wall schedule but in material takeoff i have the wall type also and wall length also and uh, volume the wall volume wall width and wall count i got a two entry because it is um, it is taken based on the material but you see here brick common material width is just 100 mm only so here we don't have anything called material width it is just a width so that means it will show the total width only and material volume when we take it is based on the material it is 0 0.1 meter square so totally 0 0.2 meter square totally 0 0.2 meter square so you need to understand the entry okay 
So if you take material takeoff and if you calculate the total count, it will become two. Uh, two wall, it will become two count. So that you should not do. Okay. So when you take material uh, takeoff, you have to go for material parameter only. In case if you want to calculate the total volume, go for wall schedule. I hope now you understand the difference. Let's calculate the total. Then we will see uh, the good and bad side of this schedule. Okay. Let's go to formatting and um, so I'm going to calculate total. I have an option to calculate total for material volume count and uh, I'm going to say OK. So now you can see grand total the count is showing as two but actually I have only one element only so we have to be very careful with the schedule Okay, so we have to be very careful with this uh, count parameter in the material takeoff. We should not take count, the total count, okay, in the material takeoff. So these parameters are just for information only. So it will not I give the actual width of the material. So this will give the total volume and total width of the wall. Okay, so here we get the same. So when you are using material takeoff, you have to go for material volume and material area only. Okay, so, so you, you have to understand these two types. If you want to calculate the total number, you can go for wall schedule. In case if you want to divide the volume by material, then you can go for material takeoff, but never use these parameters, just delete them. Use the type only to understand what type of wall it is, and then go with the material volume. That's it. okay so that's my advice i hope now you understand what's the difference between a schedule and a material takeoff you try yourself and do trial and error and check the result in case if you have any doubt please let me know thank you bye bye